I'm a committed Catholic. As the host of my own TV show, I rarely have time for my favorite Catholic traditions, like going to Mass or praying a novena or explaining saints to my non-Catholic friends. <laughs> They're kind of like God's X-Men. <laughs> Saint Anthony's mutant power is finding your lost keys. <laughs> and here's the thing, the tradition I miss most of all is confession. It's like a colon cleanse for your soul. A chance to be free of things you might regret, like comparing your soul to a colon. <laughs> so I was wondering if I could examine my conscience with you, the audience. You won't tell anybody, right? Of course not! Great. This is Stephen Colbert's Midnight Confessions. Now, for the record, I'm not sure that these are technically sins, but I do feel bad about them. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Forgive me, audience. I've been to confession more times on this show than I have in real life. <laughs> audience, if you've ever walked slowly in front of me on the sidewalk, I've fantasized about killing you. I no longer bother to spread Nutella on anything other than my tongue. <laughs> I didn't eat that much in rehearsal. I'd like to go on Celebrity Jeopardy, but I'm afraid I would lose to Meatloaf. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, audience, sometimes I wonder if God loves me because he actually likes me or because he has to because he's God. <laughs> I wonder the same thing about Tom Hanks. <laughs> I've fantasized about having a horrible disease so people would feel bad for me but that's also easily cured once I've soaked up enough pity. <laughs> I tell people I've read Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew, but actually, I just watched 10 Things I Hate About You. <laughs> when I'm at karaoke and someone starts singing, Don't Stop Believin', I stop believing. <laughs> I steal office supplies from Staples. <laughs> I don't have any skeletons in my closet. They're buried under the porch. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes on my cheat day, I order a whole plate of french fries and then have sex with it. I buy kale and put it in the fridge and never eat it. <laughs> then I start resenting it and enjoy watching it die. <laughs> I'm a quick drunk. I've jumped a subway turnstile on a dirt bike. <laughs> Everybody always says your porn name is your first pet and the street you grew up on. So mine should be Caesar Honeybee. <laughs> but in reality, mine was Guy Man Dude. <laughs> oh, and I did porn. One time, I test drove a car just so I could use the dealership's bathroom. <laughs> when I go to a jazz club, I just applaud at random intervals to make it seem like I appreciated something else nobody else got. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, 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 that. Yeah, that. Yeah. Whenever it looks like I'm taking notes in an important meeting, I'm really just drawing King Kong fighting tanks. <laughs> there are a lot of apps on my iPhone that I never use, but I'm afraid to get rid of them because I don't know what they do. <laughs> if I rescued a shelter dog, I would name it Shelter Dog. <laughs> so everyone would know that I rescued it. <laughs> also, if I got two cats, I would name them Cat One and Cat Three. <laughs> so everyone would feel sorry for me. <laughs> this one's shocking to even me. I don't know how to say it, but I think it's possible that Donald Trump won't be the worst president in history. <laughs> Forgive me, audience. <laughs> <laughs>